I'm Jesse. I wear many hats and these are my adventures for the week. I could not be happier. Uh, you, you look you can, in, in the YouTube video here, you can look behind me. What's what's behind me, if you're listening on the podcast, is PacificDailyTimes.com. It's live. It's up. It's going. Now, I promise that I'm not going to talk about it as much in the Taiwan special when I bring it up. But I am going to bring it up in the Taiwan special because it's, all, I mean, that's what everything's all about. The, the Taiwan special relates to the concept of what's happening in Asia. And the Pacific Daily Times website, it's new, it's brand new. I mean, I put probably 40 hours into making this website what it is. And it's live, it's done. There's no more development to be done on it. I need to keep watching it to make sure that it behaves itself. But the, the roadmap is finished. I, I mean, there, there's no more phase one, phase two, phase three. It's done. Uh, I might add a blog roll and instead of links to it, uh, not decided uh, about that yet. Um, but you know, that's a that's a development decision that comes later. Here's the deal: this is the podcast, and in the podcast, I I address the things in my normal life that you know, you know Limbaugh calls them the stick to the issues crowd. Talk about the issues. Talk about politics, and talk about the economy, and talk about you know Judge Kavanaugh, and you know. And, and Limbaugh starts talking about his iPhone not working or whatever, and the stick to the issues people don't like that. Well, this is the podcast episode where I get into more of the inside baseball of, of what I go through. And this is an important part of, if you're watching me on YouTube, you'll notice that there's an ad behind me that changes every minute. Oh, I'm going to explain that. I'm going to, I'm, I, I'm really happy to launch this specifically.com site. So I'm going to talk about it today here and advertising. And then I'm going to just make it a brief announcement in the Taiwan special, uh, uh, in, the, in the first Taiwan special episode. And you'll see how I handle that. Because sometimes you have to make announcements to the stick to the issues crowd. And the Taiwan special has, it's over 100 subscribers now. And uh, currently you and the podcast, uh, your subscription, uh, there's about 80 some of you. So it's, it's lower, you know, the, the, the stick to the issues crowd, this, this is part of media and part of how marketing works. Um, maybe not so much marketing, maybe it's more about, um, you know, following a brand or, or knowing who your audience is, uh, knowing how to connect with people. You, you've always got your core that are interested in a lot more of what you have to say. And then you've got the people who enjoy the quality, but uh, they're not, they, I mean, they really appreciate you, but they're not part of the, the core of the core. And that's, Limbaugh calls them the stick to the issues crowd. Now, these are people that are busy and they're doing their own things. Uh, they are not, for, for whatever reason, they aren't interested in hearing your inside baseball rants. But your core they are interested in it because they learn so much more. They're like, okay, this is uh, Jesse as uh, as a as a podcaster, or YouTuber, or, you know, writer, and who knows what else. He wears many hats. This is Jesse. I want to know what the inside of his life is like. I want to know kind of the reality show, sort of inside baseball stuff, because there's a lot there that I can learn from Jesse in personal character as a person, or you know, something of that sort. The stick to the issues crowd, the Taiwan special people are going to say, I'm not interested in, in Jesse reality shows uh, or in Jesse's reality show. I'm, I just, I've got enough of my own reality and that's great that Jesse has his reality. Uh, it's, you know, Jesse's reality is probably a little bit different from other people's. Uh, but, uh, you know, that's great, but I just want to hear him talk about this, that, and the other and get on with my life. So you've got these two different groups and that's why I keep the podcast weekly going. But remember... The podcast weekly is what has kept me going for years. I mean, we could be looking at maybe about what, seven years solid that I've been doing this. And without the podcast weekly, I don't keep going. That's, that's the goose that lays the golden eggs. And that's the part that the, the new, um, like, you know, if you got a new CEO who got an MBA and was told the right way to do everything, he'd say, well, the podcast special has uh, fewer subscribers, the, or the podcast weekly, excuse me, has fewer subscribers than the Taiwan special. So we're going to downsize it. That way, our average subscription level looks higher for stock reports. 
uh, that's the wrong thing to do because what we, it's playing with the numbers. It's, you've got to have the important numbers that are lower because they're the fuel in the engine that drives and directs everything and keeps it going so that the, the other stuff can continue. If you don't have a rudder, your sails aren't going to do you any good. They'll just blow you over. You have to have the stuff that's below the surface that we don't always see. So I, everything has its purpose and its balance. And this is something that a lot of businesses and governments don't get. It's part of source and where things begin. Okay, Pacific Lake Times. Developing this probably, uh, as I said last week, I would be developing it and rolling it out this week. I had some basic stuff done. I had the header, the heading up here finished. Uh, which 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 basically follows the time. It does time zones. I added UTC time. The website is an ingenious. I mean, it's the greatest. It's the best. It's it, it's excellent. Um, this website updates bookmarks that I add on my own web hosting through an app that I control. It, it, it makes sense. I read news articles. I add a bookmark. And this website finds the domain, matches it against a list of news sources and automatically credits the news source. It takes a YouTube video, searches in the, the, the web address for the YouTube video, runs some numbers against YouTube and gets the channel name and puts that as a credit in the link. It knows what day of the week I added them and any news article that I've linked that's added today on the current UTC time, according to UTC, Universal Time Coordinated, Greenwich, England, not Greenwich, it's pronounced Greenwich. Uh, anything uh, that's today appears in a bright color uh, and newer items appear towards the top of the list. And I go through these and these are the articles that go into the uh, the uh, the editorial blogs. I now, did you look behind me here. You can see me scroll. I'm going to scroll down. If you're watching on YouTube, let's scroll down. Here are the stacks. These are the news stacks from this past week. And then, of course, at the bottom, I've got a footer and description in terms and that type of thing. Um, and there's this week and then there's a last week. So you can watch me add articles throughout the week. And I just this thing is ingenious. You click on it. It goes dark as, as a link visited, but it, it's smart. It's got a white theme and it doesn't use any complex computer language. It simply uses the core base Linux operating system in order to function. With the time I put into this, this could easily be, uh, well, I'd say a $3,000 website for my time. But if I were uh, developing this for someone else, it would easily be $10,000 because of all the time I would have had uh, dealing with concept stuff with other people. Um, like, for example, I've gone through this and, and been very careful in selecting fonts and sizes and placement so that you can read this stuff as fast as possible. And it, it's, it's very, very light on the system. It's not, you know, ads, ads are the thing. I'll say this in closing today with this, this website. Ads, I, I looked into and signed up for two different ad agencies and I'm really sad with what I see to understand and to know what is going on with these news sites with their advertisements. They want to have desktop notifications on my computer. Like I, I get a computer, it looks like a system message and it's an ad. And, and it's, it's like, I'm glad to do advertisements, but it's stuff like some stupid game. And you know, one of them, like one of the first that came up was, uh, you know, the most addictive game ever. Don't tell your wife about it. You, you know, it's like someone's reading the news and then I got to get bombarded with this. I don't like what I'm seeing in advertisements. I mean, a lot of the stuff on YouTube are car commercials. Come on. So it, I just, I'm like, no, there's so many better advertisers out there. So I've got my own ad system in place. I'm thinking about starting my own ad agency, frankly. So I've, I've the, right now the ads are simply your ad here and I'm going to be collecting, um, you know, interested people. So I'm looking for advertisers. I'd probably do affiliate links. It's probably what I would do. Um, Cause if I'm going to do pay per click, I'm just going to do it man to man. Um, you know, there are a lot of people that have a lot of great products out there that don't need to be uh, going through services um, that, that typically annoy people with ads. So those are thoughts on ads. I'm, I'm really excited about this. It's done and I'm moving on to other projects. I said I'd deliver this last week and I did. See you tomorrow on the Taiwan Special.